Hi, it's Katrina! From dangerous creepy crawlies to cuddly creatures, here are 13 of the most unusual pets ever. Number 13. Scorpions When it comes to creepy crawlies in the world, the scorpion is definitely one that makes the list. It's not their fault that we usually prefer cute and cuddly creatures, but there is an exception because many people actually have them as pets. There are many different kinds of scorpions, and their stings are legendary for being painful and venomous, some more than others. Besides being fascinating creatures, they can live up to 25 years in captivity, and most species are not dangerous to humans. There is another reason they're actually quite common among people as pets. Scorpions are viewed as very strong and can survive just about anything. They've been around for at least 400 million years and can go an entire year without food. Many people believe that if you own a scorpion, its strength gets transferred to you. They are very easy to take care of, but shouldn't really be handled, especially not by children. The most common pet scorpion is the emperor scorpion, whose sting has been compared to a bee or a wasp sting. Fun fact, scorpions actually glow under ultraviolet light. Scientists still don't know why. Even fossils can reflect UV rays as visible light, despite being hidden for millions of years. Number 12. The Capybara The Capybara is the largest rodent in the world. Forget bunnies and hamsters. If you want to push the limit, you can get a Capybara. They're so big, they can weigh up to 140 pounds, which if you think about it, is about the average weight of an adult. Not unlike other rodents, the Capybara are very social animals and are semi-aquatic, so they need a very special habitat. They're not as good when they're alone, so you'll definitely want to get it a friend. So if you don't feel like you can take care of two of them at once, you might want to look for something else. Native to Central and South America, they usually hide in the dense jungle and are more active during dawn and dusk. They aren't legal to own everywhere, either. In the United States, you are only allowed to have them in Texas and Pennsylvania. Other states require you to have a license before getting one. Like many animals on this list, be sure to check your laws before trying to get one. Number 11. The Bearded Dragon Lizard The bearded dragon is native to Australia, but its popularity as a pet in the United States is growing. Australia actually banned the sale of its wildlife in the 1960s. They're sold in pet stores all over, which you might not expect from a lizard with spikes all over its body. Even though they might look a little intimidating, the bearded dragon lizard is actually known for being one of the most gentle lizards in the world. In fact, bearded dragon lizard pet owners say their lizard doesn't mind being held and petted. You should probably be careful for the lizard's sake, but you can do it if you want. Easier to do than with a scorpion. As an owner, though, you'll need to be prepared for their growth, because they can get up to two feet long. They need a very special habitat and can live around 14 years. And now for number 10. But if you are new here, welcome and be sure to subscribe. Let us know about your exotic pets and any tips you have in the comments below. Number 10. The Fennec Fox These foxes come from the Sahara Desert in Africa and are the smallest type of fox in the world. They are famous for their large ears, which allows them to hear prey digging around in the desert from far away. Can't sneak up on this guy. They are extremely furry, which helps them keep cool. Even their feet are furry, which helps to protect them from the hot sun. However, foxes in general are very curious and love to burrow, so they are quite the handful to have as a pet. They have very high energy and need a lot of stimulation indoors and out. Otherwise, you can say goodbye to your house. They mate for life and are extremely social animals, but if they are going to be a pet, they need a lot of attention and shouldn't be left unattended for too long. Otherwise, they can dig or jump their way out and you might never see your fox again. As always, you need to be sure you are ready for this kind of commitment and check your local laws. Number 9. The Crocodile There once was a time when it was actually quite common practice to have a baby croc or alligator as a pet. This actually started the urban legend of crocodiles being found in the sewers, since people would flush them down the toilet once they got too big. Despite that warning story, you can still get a crocodile as a pet. Why? I have no idea. Allow me to warn you about some of the things you're getting involved with if you get one. While baby crocodiles do start out small, be assured they will get big. Depending on the breed you get, they can grow to be over 20 feet long and weigh over 1,000 pounds. Furthermore, the older they get, the more food they're going to need to eat, which means the longer you have the crocodile, the more it's going to weigh on your wallet. 
Due to their massive size and mouthful of teeth, they need a place to roam, a big body of water to lay in, and more. And don't even think about cuddling with it or letting children get too close. So unless you are Escobar trying to protect his stash of millions of dollars hidden underneath a crocodile pond, I would avoid this guy. Number 8. The Piranha One of the most feared creatures in the world can indeed be yours as a pet. Congratulations, you can own a piranha! And while TV shows and movies may have exaggerated their skills, make no mistake, they are meat eaters and they will bite you if you tempt them. Plus, they're very messy eaters and require some skill to handle in regards to food. Speaking of handling, like other creatures, piranhas don't like to be alone, so you can't just get one. You'll need to get at least three to keep them somewhat calm, which is raising the danger factor even higher. You don't need me to tell you that they are not the kind of pet to give to a child, or anyone really, and they need a very special habitat. So again, unless you are trying to scare people or show off, you might want to just visit this one at your local aquarium. Number 7. The Savannah Cat The Savannah Cat is a spotted cat breed which is a cross between an African serval and a domestic cat. They were accepted as a breed in 2001 and are known for their beautiful coat, which mimics the serval without being a full-blown wildcat. Although, as a side note, people do have servals as pets, but many people give them up after about a year or a year and a half to big cat rescue because their wild personalities are just too much to handle. The Savannah Cat has very high energy and are known for having a good temper and being affectionate, especially if they are socialized from a young age. So as a matter of fact, they aren't actually that strange as a pet, they're just pretty exotic. They do need more interaction than an average domestic cat, however. Depending on the degree of domestic genes, these cats are allowed in certain places but not others. And by the way, did I mention that they usually cost between $15,000 to $20,000? Number 6. Hedgehogs These small spiny animals can be found almost everywhere in the world except the Americas and Australia. Despite what video games may tell you, they are very slow and will roll up into a ball to protect themselves. They don't need a lot of taking care of, but they are nocturnal by nature and have a lot of energy at night. Due to their spikes, you'll need to be careful with how you handle them. In Europe, they are known for eating pests in the garden, so they are actually a useful pet to have around. However, in areas where they have been introduced, they have become an invasive species and have become a pest themselves because they hurt the native species of insects, birds, and all other kinds of things. This is why they are illegal in many states, because they can have a huge impact on local ecosystems. Like other exotic pets, they can also carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans. They are a food source in many cultures and their parts are often used in black magic, although recently more and more people want them as pets. In the UK and the US, the African pygmy hedgehog is growing in popularity at a surprising rate. Number 5. The Wallaby Wallabies are one of the animals you most associate with Australia as they're known for looking like mini kangaroos. But surprisingly, you can actually have a wallaby as a pet in many countries and states as long as you have a license for it. Wallabies are extremely exotic pets and are very rare. They require a lot of space and need a large enclosure to be able to run and graze outside. Scientists from the Netherlands were asked to research exotic pets for pet suitability. There is a growing trend of people owning exotic animals and the government wanted to see which animals would be suitable for people to take care of without any special knowledge or skills and the wallaby was one of them. Not that they are meant to replace cats and dogs, but as long as they have the right environment and diet, a happy and healthy wallaby could be your new best friend. Number 4. Freshwater Stingray Easily one of the strangest aquatic animals you can own as a pet is the freshwater stingray. You'd think that these types of aquatic creatures wouldn't be allowed as pets, but they are in some places. But they do come with a catch, no pun intended. Creatures like this need a very specific type of habitat that would most likely need to be custom made. They need a large aquarium with a large flat bottom for them to lay on. The water conditions have to be absolutely perfect because they can be very sensitive and the aquarium can't have too many things in it because they can get easily injured. They can grow up to three feet across and need feedings three times a day. Also, another thing to keep in mind, they are venomous and often illegal to own. You might want to check your laws and your doctor just in case. Number 3. Sugar Gliders Sugar gliders are in the marsupial family and have a pouch to raise their young. They look a bit like flying squirrels and have a fold of skin which they can use to glide from place to place. Native to New Guinea and Australia, their popularity as pets is growing, but you should definitely do your research before getting one. 
They should always be kept in pairs because they are extremely social and very curious. If they get lonely or don't have enough stimulation, then they can get depressed and become aggressive. If treated well, sugar gliders love to hang out with each other and their human friends, and love to hang out in pockets. They need to be handled daily though, and they are nocturnal, so they are best for people who are willing to hang out with them late at night. Many people will get sugar gliders and then give them up because they are just too much to handle. Check your area for sugar glider rescue organizations, and of course, say it with me, your local laws. Good! Number 2. The Burmese Python Burmese pythons were also extremely popular pets to own, but there are many horror stories of the pet python swallowing the baby, or even the owner itself when they snuck out of their cage at night. Snakes as pets in general are well known as exotic pets. Many of them are small, but not when it comes to the Burmese python, which is known to grow up to 23 feet in length. And yes, you can have this as a pet, but there are numerous and significant problems. Due to their massive size, you can't put them in a simple enclosure. They need a bunch of room and a lot of food. Also, it should be noted that the Burmese python is known to eat smaller animals. So if you have a dog, cat, hamster, or whatever, you would likely have to get rid of them in order to ensure that they don't get eaten by the python. One man who even has a YouTube channel actually likes to take his 20-foot-long pythons down the street for a stroll. I'm not sure where he lives, but in some places, walking your pet python, even if it's on a leash, can actually get you arrested. These snakes are also incredibly long-lasting, with documented cases of them living up to 20 years, so having this as a pet would be a long-term commitment. Many people can't handle it and are letting them go into the wild. Florida is having a huge problem as the environment is perfect for them there and they grow to massive sizes in the wild. Number 1. The Chimpanzee The media has shown us that it would be fun to own a monkey. And sure enough, you can even own a chimpanzee in certain areas of the world, including certain parts of the United States. In fact, the rich used to try and get chimpanzees as pets all the time, seeing them as a status symbol and proof of their wealth probably along with the crocodiles. But I'm sure most of you know by now that unless you are a wildlife expert, it is not nice or healthy to own one as a pet. Besides them being large and intelligent, they can live to be 50 years old. That is quite the commitment. They are extremely strong, and if not treated properly or given the right care, they can rip your face off as they grow into maturity. There have been many documented cases of chimpanzees killing their owners. They are expensive and dangerous and should probably be left alone and admired in the wild. Thanks for watching! Let us know about your pets in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!